Hello, I'm Ellen Parenti, and I am a candidate for the position of Burlington First Selectman. I am a registered, unaffiliated voter. Therefore, I am not party endorsed and petitioned with the state to be on the ballot. I've lived in Burlington for 35 years, and I've worked for the town for 25 years, starting as the administrative assistant to the first selectman, and later for 15 plus years as the director of finance and social services. Those roles gave me experience in all levels of municipal government, town administration, finance, supervision, management, decision-making, human resources, budgeting, and resource allocation. As director of finance, I was instrumental in getting the town to a AA plus bond rating with Standard & Poor's and fiscally responsible and conservative. I was also the social services director, which gave me a great understanding of the landscape of the town. I instituted the food and fuel bank and expanded the food pantry. I have been an elected Region 10 Board of Education member for the past seven years, developing a good working relationship with the region. My involvement with the Board of Education includes the budget process as chair of the Finance Committee, curriculum review, and recommendations to the full Board of Education as co-chair of curriculum, and a membership on the Superintendent's Evaluation Committee. I have been and remain very involved in volunteering for community organizations, including Scouting, Community Bell, Historical Society, Friends of the Chamber of Commerce, and Lions Club. I am an advocate for our younger and elderly population in town and understand the stresses of each demographic. I will serve all residents of Burlington using my accumulated experience. I will work toward a more community oriented town I will work for every resident while making decisions in a timely manner. I will listen and be open to all residents' opinions, and I will bring efficiency to the day-to-day -day operation of the town. My administration will include more community outreach, communication, honesty, transparency, and accountability. You can make history by electing the first unaffiliated first selectman. Together, we can make our town the best it can be by electing me, a 35-year resident and 25-year town employee, serving with a passion for Burlington, its people, and its small businesses. I hope I have your support, but more importantly, please get out and vote November 2nd. You can find me on the third line of the ballot, line 1C under petitioning candidate. Thank you for caring about Burlington and watching this video. Let's make history, vote for me, Ellie Parenti. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn about local elections. I'm Rosemary Moranti, a Democrat running for re-election to the Plainville Town Council. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time on the council and hope that I can continue to serve. I'm running again because I'm still very passionate about building a vibrant future for our town and making Plainville the best it can be. I'm a lifelong resident and graduate of Plainville High School. I entered Trinity College the first year women were admitted and received a BA in history. I later earned graduate degrees from both the University of Rhode Island and the University of Hartford. My professional career was spent in the Windsor Public Schools. I retired as the district supervisor for technology and libraries. It was a great career that gave me experience in planning, budgeting, and in managing change. I would like to share some thoughts on several areas of importance. First, public safety is always up there as a primary need in any community. I've supported resources for our top-notch volunteer fire department and for our very professional and community-oriented police department. Infrastructure is also a priority. We've completed the water pollution control upgrade. We're in the second phase of road improvements and we're starting to replace sidewalks. I've also supported projects at Robertson Field, renovations at Wheeler School, and the new fiber optic network connecting schools and town buildings. Economic development is critical for a town success. I've supported initial plans for reuse of the White Oak property and look forward to the next steps. I foresee the proposed mixed-use development as a major signature project that can invigorate downtown Plainville. 
In terms of quality of life, there are several areas I'd like to mention. We're very fortunate in Plainville to have wonderful parks, and keeping them that way is certainly a priority. One thing that will enhance outdoor recreation is the Farmington Canal Heritage Trail. I've been a supporter of the trail and look forward to its continued design and its construction. The Public Library is another resource that provides important services, adds value, and merits taxpayer support. In terms of seniors, I am an unabashed cheerleader for the Plainville Senior Center. It is truly a model for other towns in terms of what senior services should look like. Preserving the environment is important. As a member of the Council, I have supported land acquisitions that guarantee more open space now and for generations to come. In regard to the schools, the Town Council's role is primarily a budget one, but within that context, I will always recognize the importance of strong public schools in educating children, making Plainville a desirable place to live, and preserving our property values. Of course, reasonable budgets and reasonable taxes are essential priorities for the town. We should continue to identify ways that save money or increase revenue, as we've done, for example, through refunding of bonds or the property audit process. But a budget must also move us toward a better future. Finding that balance is key. I will work with all my colleagues to build budgets that reflect both forward thinking and fiscal responsibility. Before I conclude, I would like to add that I serve as Town Council Liaison to Library Trustees, Conservation Commission, and the Committee on Aging. I'm also on the Anti-Racism Task Force and served on the 2020 Committee for the Census. And within the community, I love keeping our local history alive by being a very active member of the Plainville Historical Society. If reelected, I will continue to study all issues thoroughly ask the pertinent questions, and listen to input from the public. My goal is always to do what is best for Plainville. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you to Nutmeg TV for this opportunity. I'm Dana R. Snell, and I'm a Plainville citizen running on the Democratic slate for a seat on the Plainville Board of Education. I'm extremely excited to serve this community by bringing my expertise home. I'm running because I'm very passionate uh, about building a vibrant community for children built on Plainville strengths. I'm a third generation lifelong resident and graduate from Plainville High. I played high school, I played in the high school band, played high school sports and participated in the Plainville Park and Recreation Department. In addition, I've served in several capacities of leadership while at Plainville High. After high school, I went to college in West Virginia, Bethany College, received my bachelor's in social work, got a master's degree in social work from Southern Connecticut State University, and a post-master's certificate in, um, in, in, from Smith College. Um, my professional career spans over 35 years when I started my career at the Department of Children and Families um, and my experiences in Child Protective Services. Currently, I work for the department where I'm responsible for life skills and transitional preparedness for young adults. In addition, I'm the founder of the Queen Anne and Zynga Center, a program rooted in Plainville designed to develop self-efficacy in children and youth through performing and visual arts and cultural awareness. I am the perfect Plainville product suited for this job. What makes me the right candidate for the Plainville Board of Education is I believe in the Plainville community the importance of the community and the responsibility to invest in this community. I want to ensure that we have a sustainable future and we do this by investing in our educational system and our children. Fiscal responsibility. That means that we need to invest our resources wisely, ensuring that children get exactly what they need to be successful without impairing the livelihood of its citizens. 
I promise to be fiscally responsible. Health and safety, as we continue to live in a life with a pandemic, we have to ensure that we have the best information to keep our children, our teachers, and our citizens safe. In addition, we have to create a healthy emotional climate. I have no tolerance for bullying. Um, and I will actively ensure that our policies promote healthy emotional learning environments and no false promises. I'm not afraid to admit that I don't know everything, but I promise I will find out. Trust me, I know I'm new in this arena, but I bring a tremendous amount of success, passion, and experience. It's important that we lean on our elders, um, exp our experienced citizens, and our history. I lead with the three E's. Equity is a shared responsibility. We are not all created equal, so we must respond equitably. At the end of the day, we are all better off when all citizens are better off. Empowerment. We must build a strong community by empowering our children to believe in themselves, trust the power they possess, and cultivate and spark their desires to dream. Evaluation. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But if things aren't working, we have a responsibility to change it. Results happen when we hold ourselves accountable. If elected, I will research all the issues thoroughly, be honest, be deliberate, ask questions, and listen to public input. My goal is to invest in our children, providing them the foundation to be competitive, successful, and represent Plainville's best. I want to pour back into the community what it poured into me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Felicia Jordan, and as a member of the Canton, Connecticut community, I recognize the importance of community conversations and engagement from the community. With that being said, I have taken this opportunity to run for the Board of Ed here in Canton, and I'd like to focus on a lot of the things that the current board has put in place one of which is the diversity and inclusion statement that they have drafted and adopted. So we're looking to build upon that to really engage not only um, the staff and teachers and parent voices, but also the student voices, which I think are the most important as they drive the future of our community and the future of our education system. Um, I also really um, recognize the importance of social and emotional learning, um, being a yoga teacher, I'm a teacher to a lot of students that are in our, our school district here um, as they have come through um, programs that I've had within the community at the daycares and preschools in the area. So it's very important to recognize the whole um, student and mindfulness is very important to me as well. And I just look forward to hearing from our community, um, hearing questions that you have. I encourage people to reach out to me directly. My email address is feliciajordan at me.com. And I encourage everybody to vote on November 2nd to vote row A. And I appreciate your support and the people that have reached out to me thus far. I'm filled with gratitude and look forward to this run. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chris Madrid, and I'm running for a seat on Canton's Board of Education. I believe excellent public education is intimately tied to the vitality of our community and that investing in our children now leads to a vibrant Canton in the future. To provide every child with the education they deserve, Canton's Board of Education must have the right vision, act to support that vision, and be accountable to the public. We must also advocate for our students at every opportunity. I will be that kind of Board of Education member. Born and raised in Miami Beach, on my retirement six years ago, I moved to Canton to be near my son and his family. I've grown to love Canton and the Farmington Valley, and I'm committed to supporting and enhancing the lives of its children. What I want Canton voters to know most about me is that I've had a 45-year career as an educator, and that makes me extremely well prepared for Board of Education service. I know public education. 
I hold a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in educational leadership. My career included classroom teaching, school administration as an elementary school principal and assistant superintendent, and almost 20 years as senior vice president of Catapult Learning, a division of Sylvan Learning Systems, a private education company. In addition to my professional career, I serve our community as a FAVAR volunteer and as a member and current president of the Rotary Club of Avon Canton. I've always believed in a life of dedication to the community in which I live. I will bring that dedication to service on Canton School Board of Ed. As a principal, my school was named a National School of Excellence by the Federal Department of Education and further recognized by then Secretary of Education William Bennett as just one of just seven schools of curricular excellence in the United States. Thereafter, I had the great honor and privilege of meeting and being recognized by both Secretary Bennett and then President Ronald Reagan. My commitment to educational excellence includes a strong traditional curriculum with emphasis on core values and academic rigor. Students should be nurtured and encouraged as well as educated. And school boards play a very important role in achieving excellence. First and foremost, school boards must prioritize student education as the only line item on the board's agenda. School boards are accountable for school performance and accessible to the public. School boards ensure students get the best education for the tax dollars that are spent and that they are accountable to taxpayers. To do all that, school boards need great members. Great school board members have a clear vision and goals. They measure the district's success and superintendent performance against that vision and those goals. Great school board members communicate their actions to the community through public discourse and written reports. And great school board members always keep the public informed of both progress and challenges. Great school board members work as a team. They collaborate well and are respectful of each other as well as the superintendent and staff. Great school board members adopt a fiscally sound budget they pay close attention to finances and act responsibly and regularly monitor budget performance. They differentiate needs from wants. Great school board members focus on what is always best for students. They focus on student achievement and implementing policies that ensure success for all of their students. Great school board members advocate for public education they take advantage of opportunities to communicate the needs of schools to their audiences and always advocate for po strong public schools. If elected, I will be a great school board member. Thank you.